so Steinmetz moved to upstate New York, where the Schenectady works of the young electrical company had some 20 buildings and 5,000 employees. Steinmetz, Schenectady, breeze of the old country. He made friends, and soon a batch. Steinmetz built this house, and alongside it, General Electric constructed for him a two-story laboratory, studying new electrical problems. And at the camp began a chain of extraordinary events. In 1922, man-made light and an interested and distinguished guest, Thomas Edison. All right, it gives us a discharge of 10,000 amperes at over 100,000 volts. This explosive effect of real lightning will help us develop better lightning arresters and insulators that will safeguard buildings and electrical power lines. The young men of today. For although the engineer has infinitely more competition, he has infinitely more opportunities. And what is true of electrical engineering is equally true of every other field of human endeavor. If I were to bequeath to every young man one virtue, I would give him the spirit of divine discontent. The Steinmetz voice which you have been hearing is not that of Dr. Steinmetz. The actual recording you hear is following is the only one that we have available. Here by transcription is the voice of Dr. Steinmetz. The one taking care of the distribution and supply of energy, the other of materials. With these, all requirements are complete to develop the most perfect civilization the world has ever seen. A civilization not for a minority depending on the labor of masses of slaves or serfs, but a real civilization of benefit to all the members of the human race.